In this tutorial, you are going to learn the fundamentals of using stylized rendering system for mobile and VR. Let's begin with the setup. Add SRS for mobile to your project from your vault. Then, in order to be able to use the post-process outline system, you are going to have to head to your project settings, search for custom depth in under all settings, and then change the setting custom depth stencil past to enabled with stencil. Additionally, in order for the dynamic shadow system to function efficiently and work with the daytime system, you are going to have to edit your game mode. In this case, the game mode is under third person BP blueprints. Here, in this game mode, you are going to have to open the full blueprint editor and we are going to have to search for the component SRS and here we will find the BP tints game mode component. Let's add this to our game mode and with this we are done. Now all we need to do is use our game mode in our level, so let's drag this game mode into our game mode right here under wall settings. With all the setup done, let's learn how to use and modify the material instances SRS for mobile provides. Let's head to the stylized rendering system for mobile folder, materials, and here you will find 10 presets, 5 for opaque objects, five for translucent objects that you can base your own materials off of. In order to customize them, let's create a instance off of the simple preset. Let's drag this to our content folder and drag it onto a sphere in our level. Now open this material and here in this instance you'll find all settings in order to modify this material. So let's for example modify this material by setting the color to some different color making the highlights a bit brighter, making the shadows a bit darker, setting it to metallic, and then decreasing the highlight size and increasing the shadow size. Lastly, let's use the metal 11 texture with a higher strength in order to give our materials some texture. The same can of course also be done on the translucent material instances you can find under stylized rendering system for mobile, materials, right here. While well, using the material instances will already get you very far, you may want to cell shade your own custom materials. In order to do this, open your own material, set the shading model to unlit, and add the node MF underscore opaque material attributes SRS. Connect the emissive color input and output. And with this, we're pretty much done. Now all we need to do is configure these inputs for this node. In order to get some basic inputs, you can use the opaque default inputs node. Connect all these like this. And for this UVs input, we can use the default UVs node. Now we can modify any of these inputs however we want. For example, we could make the highlight size scale animated by connecting it to a debug time sign node. Creating custom translucent materials is also very similar. For this, create a new material, set the blend mode to translucent and the shading model can stay at default lit. Now add the node MF underscore translucent material attributes and then connect all the pins like this. Note that the refraction output only works if you're making games for PC or console, so any platform that uses shading model 5. Now you can hook up all those inputs, like we did before, using the default translucent input node. And hook up the default UVs right here. And now we can once again modify all those however we want. For example, using a debug time sign node on the highlight size scale. Adding outlines in SRS for mobile can be done in two ways. First, let's look at the post-process outline system. For this, head to stylized rendering system for mobile, blueprints, and drag the actor BP outlines SRS into your scene. In order for this to affect any object, select an object and search for custom depth in the details panel. Enable render custom depth pass. Now if you click away, you'll see that an outline is added. You can edit the settings of this outline in the SRS outlines actor under outline types, and expand this and for example we could now increase the thickness 
or any other of those parameters. In order to use the material-based outlines, you're going to have to duplicate an object that you want to have outlines, like this. And on the duplicate object, we're going to have to apply a different material. You can find this under SRS for Mobile, Materials, Master. Let's create an instance of this material outline master material. Like this, I'm going to drag it to the content folder and apply this onto our duplicate object. And you'll see we have an outline applied. You can edit how this outline appears by opening this newly created material instance. And here, for example, you could edit the thickness. If your scene has harsh lighting conditions, you'll find that your objects don't really fit into the scene. For this, you can use the Tint Actor you find under SRS for Mobile, Blueprints, right here. Drag it into your scene and you'll find the Tint parameter. Now customize this to better match the lighting conditions of your scene. You can use the Shadow Manager component to make cell shaded objects dynamically react to being in shadow. For this, open an actor that has a mesh you want to have dynamically react to being in shadow. In this case, I'm going to open the player character. I've already modified the material of the player character to be compatible with SRS, following the steps I explained earlier. The material setup looks like this. To make the character now dynamically react to lighting, simply add the component Shadow Manager SRS. Now in the construction script, execute the function make mesh dynamic. For the mesh, input the character mesh of your character. Now let's test it out. In our scene, let's walk into the shadow. This tutorial covered the basics of every system of SRS for mobile. To learn more about each system, please follow the links in the description for each respective tutorial.